every day we're going to get things that come up, whether it's people, things, circumstances, the weather, whatever, that um, make us want to quit, you know, make us throw in the towel. And at the same time, there's probably always something there that makes you want to stay the course. And you have a choice. You can either look for those things that are going to make you and want you to quit, or you can look for the things that are going to keep you um, on the path to where you want to go. And I think that's, to me, the definition of grit. Well, my entrepreneurial journey actually started close to, close to 30 years ago. And um, <laughs> this is kind of a funny story. Um, I was part of a, um, I was a human resource manager and administrative manager for a uh, mechanical construction company. So it was a very male-dominated world. And, but we had this, uh, and we were connected with, there's like three or four companies that were all connected. And we had this amazing training guy. And he brought in some of the best training for us. And one of the things he did, it was called PPG, Personal and Professional Growth. And it was like a week long training um, system. And you had to identify your values and all this other stuff. And then you had to get reevaluated by your, your um, boss and all that whatnot. And we, I went through this and was so, just like crazy excited about all the information I was learning and um, I knew right then and there that I couldn't stay and I really just knew that there was other things that I wanted to do that I wasn't doing and I really credit my dad for the confidence that we have because he just always told us girls uh, you could do anything you want I mean I come from a huge family I'm fourth of eleven five girls six guys and I don't think the men the boys in our in our family have as much confidence as those girls. And I think it's because my father has always said, you can do whatever you want, just go. Don't let a guy stand in your way. I think grit can be contagious. So I would say if you feel like you're lacking in any of those areas that, you know, that the acronym stands for, if, you're, if you feel like you're lacking in grit, go find the grittiest person you know and hang out with them. Because I do, I believe it's contagious and I think the same with confidence. If you walk in with somebody who is very confident, you're automatically going to feel that and you're going to stand up a little taller and you're going to be, well, I'm with her, I'm with the confident one. So I just think that you need to go find the people who emulate what you want to be and, and hopefully glean some of that energy from them. We lived in Dayton for um, about eight or nine years and then we moved up to North of Michigan for six and then we came back. And I didn't know about WIBN. In fact, I don't think WIBN was in existence when we were here the first time. So to come back and find WIBN was a treat because it was just a really safe place to rebuild my network. And everybody was very giving and very, um, you know, they were just happy to see you, whether they knew you or not. And it was just a really nice, comfortable place to fall into and almost have an instantaneous tribe of people that um, were interested in getting to know you, interested in being your friend, interested in what you were trying to do, interested in supporting you. And I felt all of that. And so I, I always try to give that back to all the new people that I see, you know, that come through our doors.